See, the thing is, I always wanted to write a book that was really groundbreaking, like Silent Spring or The Jungle, <laughs> or, uh, uh, Darwin's Origin of the Species. I always wanted to do that, and I have done that. Uh, I'm, I'm going to really push you on this. I, I was playing all these Pops concerts, and I watched John Williams and Arthur Fiedler manipulate the emotions of tens, hundreds of thousands of people. John Williams does this at will. You go to a Star, Star Wars movie, you know, turn the sound down and, you know, and come on, you know, it's just a bunch of flickering. He has the capacity to evoke, uh, or uh, it's called induction in the electrical business, emotional energy. And I always wondered, was there science in this? Is there science? Are emotions just, because the whole world is in threes, you know, it's protons, neutrons, and electrons make everything. So maybe there's just three, three primary, you know, there's all the colors we have in this room, three primary colors. And we talk about color all the time in the music business. You know, it's got a color. This tone, this violin tone has a sort of dark color to it. But there's only three RGB. You know, there's red, green, and blue. Is it possible that there are only three primary emotions out of which we make all our millions of feelings? And that's my latest book. It's very complicated. There's a lot of physics in it. But it explains how, as a musician, I can take a crap. You give me a good composer and a good player, and I can have you in tears in 10 minutes. I can do it. It's really not hard. There's a science to it.